Hi, I did a video uh, the other week on the IBM PC Junior linked on the main channel if you haven't seen it. Um, but I forgot to do a teardown of one of these sidecars, these memory sidecars that you plug into the side of it. Now, um, this one is actually the uh, 128K memory expansion attachment. I have several of these, but it's been modified to a 512K way after the IBM PC was discontinued. So this was done um, in January 89. So well, it depends on which way around. It's that weird Yankee date thing. Um, anyway, 1989. And this thing I think was discontinued at the end of 84 or something, or was it 85? So um, it was modified long after the fact. And I meant to tear one of these down, but I simply forgot. Um, and then I think somebody in the comments um, said, hey, you really need to tear this down because it's going to be interesting inside. So cool. Let's go to it. It looks like um, they've, like, that's got to be a magnesium uh, alloy, is it? Anyway, it looks like there's some clips here. Not much of a tear down. Don't even need a screwdriver, I suspect. Although we might have to get the board out from in there. But uh, let's give it a look. Do we have to... So, yep, there we go. No worries. So, you can always tell that um, alloy um, stuff apart. Let's actually see if that's... Uh, See if that's conductive, shall we? I think we tested that in the uh, video, didn't we, before? Yep, there we go. So, let's... Oh, I can smell the vintage smell coming out of this puppy already. Oh, oh it's 80s goodness written all over it. Okay, let's pop that out. Is that... How do you get this... Damn thing off. Oh, okay. No, you might have to... Yeah, do we have to... I don't have a big... Yeah, I do have a bigger flathead. Can we... Undo these? What's doing here? Is it... No, this is just a free ring. I don't think we have to get that out, do we? I'm not sure. We might. Uh, that could be annoying if we have to. Aha, uh -huh, that's coming out. Yep, sorry. It's going to take a while. Anyway, it's supposed to be interesting. I'll keep this as a single take. If you see the light flicker in here, it's because I've got a bloody dodgy light up on the... <laughs> up on the ceiling up there. It just flickers. It's right in the corner there. And you see it on my whiteboard videos and also my uh, Tagano microscope video as well. Ah, come on. Okay, once you get to that point, yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, twiddle dee, twiddle dum. Anyway, I want to upgrade the lighting on my Tagano. Um, I actually got David uh, 2. 3D printed a, uh, you can see it, you can see a ring on there, um, 3D printed a, there it is, 3D printed a ring on there and going to use the existing um, light ring that I had, but it turns out that it's uh, too close, um, oh the, sorry, yeah, the, it, it's just not wide enough, um, so we haven't tried to diffuse it yet, but yet, but because of the angle, and because the diameter is not wide enough, um, you get reflections off the product you're trying to view, the board or whatnot. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a fail. Hence why the Tagano light itself is actually uh, in the base of it. Anyway, yes, we need to get those out. So ta -da, here we go. Let's lift the skirt. Come on. Come on. We're in like Flynn. Oh. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Someone said that this would be full of wiring. I didn't want to say that at the start because I didn't want it to be a spoiler, but they said um, this would be absolutely chocker and full of, like, point-to-point -point wiring and stuff. But nope. Wow. Wow, what do we got? 74S 
What's a 74S409? I'm going to just go look that up. 74S409. Hang on. Pete, this is a single take. 74S409 PDF. Uh, here we go. Data sheet. Sorry for those playing along at home. This is, you can't see it. Oh, God, the internet's not working. Damn thing. Come on. No. Nah. No. Nah. First PDF I went to. Ah, it's a dynamic RAM. No. S409. Oh, man. Data sheet's not working. Ah. Uh, no. Nah. Dual input. Mango. No. No. Ridiculous. No. No, I couldn't pull up. There was a link to a PDF data sheet, but it didn't work. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, that's into war. Who's that symbol? Can't say I've... I recognise that one. Wow. Anyway, so they've just... It looks like... They've, have they sucked it out? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell. They've sucked it out there. So that was the, um, they've just sucked out the original RAM chips and uh, put in bigger ones. But there's no other wiring on that at all. So there's no mod wires, no nothing to change the, like, the, the address size. There's dip switch on the end. So maybe, you know, you just have to set the dip switches or, or something like that. So there you go. They simply just uh, put sockets in. Maybe the RAM was originally soldered. Uh, 41256. Yeah, there you go. So, um, uh, so we need 16 of those. So, yep. Anyway, oh, my battery pack's running out. Damn. Um, gotta go. Anyway, catch you next time.